Hi, this is Mr. Warden. This is the Algebra Exit Ticket 36.2 for B Block and 36.3 for A Block, and perhaps D Block will do it as well at some point, but let's do it for A Block for right now. Uh, so we're going to factor y equals x squared minus 6x plus 9. So we need, so first of all, this is a perfect square structure. Uh, the Half of negative 6 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared, or the square of negative 3 is positive 9. So that is a perfect square structure. Um, and so we could just factor this as a perfect square. Since our factors of 9 that add up to negative 6 are negative 3 and negative 3, we can just say x minus 3. And it's x minus 3 times x minus 3, so that's x minus 3 squared. This one, we want to add something to both sides so that the left side is a perfect square. And this is the precursor to completing the square. So what we want to do is we want to take half of 8. We're going to add half of 8 squared to both sides. Okay, so half of 8 squared to both sides. Well, half of 8 is 4. So we're adding 4 squared, which is adding 16. So we're adding 16 to both sides. I'm just going to leave it in the parentheses on the left, and then I'm going to end up. And so I've asked you if you know how to complete the square, go ahead. If not, stop. Don't stop there and then work with me on the explanation. Here's the explanation. So I'm going to simplify this. Okay, 9 plus 16 is 25, which is a convenient, perfect square. And then I'm going to have to factor this. That's my next step. So x plus 4 squared, and that equals 25. And I'm going to get the square root of both sides. The square root of the square is just what's inside, so x plus 4 square and the square root cancel each other out. And on the other side, the square root of 25 is 5, but it is also negative 5. So we're going to have to solve for 5 and negative 5. Okay? So to do that, we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. So I'm going to end up being x will equal negative 4 plus 5 and negative 4 minus 5. And those are my two solutions, and I can, of course, finish them. X will equal negative 4 plus 5 is 1, and negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. And those are the solutions for that one. Now, the next one is going to involve an irreducible radical, but don't fear. It's going to be okay. It's actually going to be pretty simple to deal with. So we're going to look for something we can add to both sides. So what I'm going to look for is half of 20, and I'm going to square that. So half of 20 is 10. I'm going to be squaring that. Over here, I'm also going to add the same thing, 10 squared, which I'm going to go ahead and simplify as 100 on this side. I'm going to leave it alone on the other side. And 100 plus 3 will be... 103, which I'm pretty sure is a prime number, uh, but it definitely doesn't have any perfect squares hidden in it. So now I'm going to factor the left side. So the left side is a perfect square, where x squared and 10 squared are the end, and the middle is 2 times x times 10. So that's x plus 10 squared, and that will equal 103. And when I get the square root of both sides, I get x plus 10 equals the square root of 103. Okay, I'm going to put that as positive the square root of 103 and negative square root of 103. And now we're going to subtract 10 from both sides. So x will equal negative 10 plus the square root of 103 and negative 10, because I subtracted 10 from both sides, minus the square root of 103. And that is my solution. Those are exact answers. If I wanted to, I could plug it into a calculator. I could figure out what's the square root of 103. It's going to be a decimal that goes forever. It, 
I could round it at some point if I needed to measure something. But you're good at this point. You don't have to go any further on this. I, I hope that was